I, I met this training four and a half years ago when I, I was traveling in, in India searching for myself and uh, suddenly I found this training and I was like mm, I know it all I heard it so many times you know young people speaking about something that is so sublime and and pristine I, I know it all and I really came with this you can say arrogance of uh, okay thank you for sharing uh, but I know it all <laughs> and you can continue sharing but I won't be here to listen tomorrow but I found myself when I went back home to to my home country I just listened to the audios that are available for free download and without understanding really like maybe I understood 20 percent of the language and the message something really started to to touch me deeply something about the the simplicity and the dignity in which the way Candice and the other trainers spoke about human beings because many of us take ourselves to be a closed system of intelligence meaning that we have a past, present and future and our past is a collection of spam you know spam like in email, in your gmail and hotmail there's lots of spam and you need to always go and delete it but it comes back you know like uh, <laughs> and it's always really stupid stuff like um, I don't know I, I, I can't say it uh, in front of the camera or in front of people but you know what's going on in spam <laughs> and, um, so we constantly need to micromanage it and you know press 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 and but it's the trash bin is growing and growing and then we feel that we also when we are in the daily life we are like carrying all of this history and books that we've read and and knowledge and our past memories and we oh my god and then other people come like that and then woo <laughs> it start to become I, I mean i i experience lots of panic attacks on a daily basis you know because it's scary to live from spam intelligence from data <laughs> intelligence you know what what will come up next and um but this power panic attacks are now experiences um, from open intelligence as power attacks I can understand people you know it's not so foreign to me when somebody is complaining I, I used to do it for 25 years so <laughs> and just in the last four years I've been in a rehab of complaining so I don't do it anymore even internally it's not an option anymore why because open intelligence our own open intelligence and you know it's our open intelligence so it's about time that we claim it because it's not somebody's open intelligence it's our open intelligence each and every one of us yes human beings it's ours <laughs> so it's not uh, it doesn't belong to the elite and the elite can be one person that you think oh they got an open intelligence but I'm so closed and miserable and spammed and th or maybe it's up there or down there I don't know depends on your belief systems well open intelligence is right here short moments are the reset button it's it's just so beautiful you know we can sit and talk forever of how complicated open intelligence but it's really simple you just recognize for a short moment be kind to yourself a really short moment you know not a long one not a special one a short moment right now of just recognizing that there is alert openness this freedom to know and then we train it up in each short moment and just we like building muscles building muscles of benefit so that's that's kind of beautiful don't you think the the way we speak about human beings cause the dignity and the power are brought back where, the, where they belong where people can really claim their power and see okay I can live if I want to you know it's up to you <laughs> so I can live if I want to a life of total stability regardless of all the data streams that appear in my everyday life so like I shared panic attacks, sexual desire fear, anxiety, extreme anger um, judgment all of that all of those are included in the vast expanse of open intelligence so there are, we are not talking about a state where you have only positive data streams like I'm happy all the time because it's not it's just ridiculous <laughs> or I love everyone all the time it's not it's not the description itself we are not a walking dictionary we are not a walking dictionary that needs to fit a description into some kind of a box that will be living from such a small place where we have all of this to enjoy <laughs>